All right, guys. We're here today with customer service uh, since Kimberly's still out taking care of her son. Um, he's doing well, by the way. Uh, and yeah, we're here. We've assembled uh, a great portion of our customer service team. Unfortunately, some of them couldn't make it today, but I am so excited to have them here today. But first thing, we're actually going to have uh, Cheryl tell you about a really exciting uh, announcement we have. Good morning. Once again, Fat Quarter Shop is up for Quilt Retailer of the Year from the British Craft Awards. So we would love for you to vote. Um, by being nominated, customers worldwide are recognizing their favorite shops. And I do have a cheat sheet so that I can give you the link. <laughs> vote for us at www.BritishCraftAwards.com. And also, if you see behind us, this beautiful quilt was our charity quilt from last year, Clementine. We still have quilt kits available. Uh, proceeds did go to St. Jude's, and we still have a link on our blog. You can purchase a kit. You can still donate to St. Jude's, and we would appreciate it so much. Yes, and all those links, you guys, if like you missed, like, what was that British thing again? They're all in the comments, or in the description, so you guys can go there. Um, Lots of people are saying they've already voted. Everyone's super excited to meet you guys. Um, Deanna says, we finally get to meet FQS ACS. Awesome customer service. Aww. <laughs> <That's> nice. <laughs> All right, so if you guys wanna go um, from this side to that side and introduce yourself. I'm Susan. I'm Deborah. I'm Cheryl. I'm Kim. I'm Terry. I'm Elva. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, all right. And we're gonna start out with uh, a non quilting question. Um, what is your favorite color? And we'll start with Elva. Aqua blue, like this is my very favorite color. Beautiful. Red. I'll have to say purple right now. <laughs> it changes, but purple is it right now. Yeah. Blue, just about any shade of blue. I don't really have a favorite. I love all colors, so like my little four-year-old niece, I love the rainbow. Aww. <laughs> my favorite is blue, any kind of blue. Beautiful. And polka dot. And oh, yeah. polka oh, dots. Yes. Yeah. Any, yeah. Color, any color polka dot. <laughs> That's right. All right. People are saying it's so wonderful to meet everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Lots of good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Hey. yeah. All right. Um, so first question we're going to ask is what is your go-to or favorite notion? Starting with Susie. Mine is the Fat Quarter Shop Creative Grids 2.5 by 6.5 inch ruler. It is by my sewing machine. I use it every day. I love that one too, but my favorite, favorite, favorite is the 60 millimeter Ulfa rotary cutter. I've had it mine 20 years. I've had it a long time and it still works great, so I love it. My favorite notion is the Stripology ruler and it's this big so we don't have it on the table but i never want to be without that ruler again you can do stacks of strips and squares and rectangles in no time at all it's a wonderful ruler i don't quilt yet so <laughs> i don't have a favorite notion but so i'll pass it on <laughs> she's learning she's learning mine are these clover pins they're long and thin they're great for pinning because i know you're not supposed to sew over pins but you can sew over these. <laughs> <laughs> and I do all the time. So there you go. <laughs> My favorite is the Matilda's rotary cutter, rotary mat, right? Rotary cutter? Rotating mat. Sorry. Yeah, the little expensive. Yeah. I love this thing. I trim up just about everything on it all the time. It makes me happy to spin it. I love it too. Uh -huh. I'm dropping stuff. In it. All right, and next question, um, who is your favorite fabric designer? I, it's a tie between Kaif and Tula Pink. They're just awesome, the bold, bright prints and the fabrics, and they're so funky and fun, and I do love some funky and fun. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I'm at the total other end of the spectrum. Mine's Kim Deal, Joe Morton, um, all re 1800s reproductions, <laughs> but Kim Deal's probably my favorite. Well, I like to look at Elizabeth Hartman stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I really like her designs. They're really cute. Yeah. Really cute with animals. This is Lily Locke asking, who's your favorite child? <laughs> 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 
so I can't narrow mine to a single favorite. I love Sweetwater, Three Sisters, Corey Yoder, Basic Gray. <laughs> I'll stop there. <laughs> I'm like Cheryl. I really love Basic Gray, Zen Chic. Yeah. Um, there's others. I can't think of it. I like our, our gallery. I love all their fabrics and cotton and steel. Now that's Ruby, Ruby Star, Star Society. Society. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see what they're going to have. Yes. I love Lala Boutique, Bonnie and Camille, Sandy Gervais, Three Sisters, on and on and on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so many favorites. I love it. And you can't just pick one, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's just the thing. Sorry. Also, I forgot to set up our Instagram camera. So that's what I'm fiddling with right now. So don't mind me. Um, but our next question is, what would you recommend for a quick and easy project? Okay, wow, I forgot the name of it. It's on our blog. It's the uh, Easy Zipper Bag, and it uses um, many, a mini charm pack, and it's super easy to make. Um, I guess almost any of our free patterns are pretty simple. Mm -hmm. the, um, a lot of those are really simple. I love, I think the Kimberly sack is really easy. I think I've made six now. Maybe five. That was mine. You just stole it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> Elva's favorite is <laughs> really suck. Um, any nine patch <laughs> would be easy, yeah. One of my favorites is a free pattern also, Jelly Roll Jam. Yeah. And one Jelly Roll will make two small quilts. That's my favorite little travel quilt. Anytime I fly, I take it on the plane with me because it's just the right size. I always freeze on the airplane. It's not so big that it drags in the floor. It folds up small enough to tuck into my little carry-on and super quick and easy and love the finished product. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a project that like you recommend people call or a project maybe you, you would consider you have, starting with? You do with? have the Minecraft. Yeah. You do have the Minecraft oh. kit. I do. I don't have a kit, but I do have fabric. I, I have lots of fabric at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's just waiting for me. Yes. It's waiting. That's where you start. Yes. <laughs> so I'll get there. Yeah, but no, I don't have anything right now. Okay. Mine is the pillowcase. That hot dog pillowcase thing. Oh, that everybody yeah. Makes. yeah. That's you know, you can know. make it, make anything you want. Kids love it. Adults love it. Great gift. Yeah. Those are great. Mine is the Kimberly sack. It really, really is the Kimberly oh. sack. <laughs> I carry that as a purse every day. I've made it for a bunch of people. It's It works up pretty fast and it's so useful and versatile. I just love it. I also really like, there's a free pattern on the website for a little apron. Oh. What is it called? It's a, uh, I think she uses. It's um, kind of like a utility apron sort of thing. Yeah, with it's like a far down dish list, towel. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but that thing is awesome. I've made it and it's just great. Excellent. Great answers, everyone. Um, Deanna says, love the idea of using a small quilt for a carry-on when flying. Um, Margie said, I'm tickled to death to see all you gals this morning. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Um, we're going to jump to a question just submitted in the comments right now. Teresa, um, she's one of our YouTube members, a uh, very awesome person, and she's asking, what is the most surprising thing that's ever happened to you? with customer service. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. We can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I no, have an answer. <laughs> Go. Um, being hung up on by a customer. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so sad. Okay, you guys don't have to answer. I, 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 I do have one. I do have one. I did have a customer really <laughs> upset, and she hung up. She wasn't very kind on the phone, and, you know, it was, it was not a pleasant conversation. But a week later, I got a a card from her and it was this great apology apologizing for it and I, I was very surprised by that because I had forgotten about it by then but I keep that on my desk all the time to to remind myself that these people aren't really talking to me sometimes so that was Aww. that was a surprise I got one time that's so sweet yeah mm -hmm. so you don't have one they'd like to share I don't <laughs> I can't think of anything oh my gosh <laughs> Um, okay, so what would you give a quilting or sewing friend for Christmas or the holidays if they don't celebrate that? Starting with Elva? Yes. That corner <laughs> shop gift certificate. Yeah. Yes. It's oh, what yeah. I would want to get. <laughs> <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> 
I'm a huge ruler person, so any new ruler that comes out, that's usually what I give my quilting friends. But this year, they are all getting this Perfect 10 book because it is awesome. Yes. It's a great book. <laughs> I've, made, I've already made two quilts out of it. So um, it's, it's, it's really a good book and a very good price. Well, my sewing and our quilting friends typically get a handmade Christmas ornament for Christmas. That's She's awesome. awesome. Yes. <laughs> and we're actually going to have a tutorial on making Christmas ornaments coming up soon in the live stream. So, hey, Shirley, Perfect. you could be on another mm -hmm. video. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl oh, does cross stitch. She's a magnificent cross stitch. Oh, man. Oh, the yeah. stuff she turns yeah. out is phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. And you're not cross stitching along with us? <laughs> <laughs> She's oh, a are. little too advanced. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so. I oh did yes, you want me to oh I was I, I I'm actually going to give people this this year because these and are so right fun yeah the ruby the new ruby one yeah it's one of they're getting bowls I yes. love mine I have all my makeup it. brushes in the in oh it. really oh yeah it holds them all yeah. perfectly that's my second favorite notion yeah. this is I love sparkly. that thing yeah it's yeah. really versatile doesn't really mm -hmm. yeah. you just have to because mine sits by my machine so awesome. That is totally but That's awesome. the gift this year. Stick some stuff in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Yeah, but of course I have the aqua colored one because of course. Yeah, I have the aqua because it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but that's me. All right. So, and you go. Susan. Yeah. No. Oh, where were you? Yeah, she did the gift. Oh, she said perfect. Oh, yeah, she did the gift. But I'll say it again. <laughs> it's because she cut in line and then forgot. <laughs> I was like, wait, we didn't go all the way. All right. Although so. we're going to start with you. Susan says, give us your ticket. <laughs> hey, she got excited. I can't blame her. I would want a gift certificate, and I work here. I would um, want a gift certificate, mm -hmm. just saying. <laughs> um, no, it's oh, great. Look at us when you say that. <laughs> Dear Santa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, question kind of out of the bag. What is your guys' favorite food or meal? Mexican food. Tacos. Chicken fajitas. <laughs> and lots of salsa. <laughs> We're from Texas. <laughs> I have lots of favorites. You like so. barbecue. Oh, yeah. Barbecue. <laughs> What's the best barbecue, barbecue. nearby? Um, In your opinion. <laughs> oh, I've never been there. Oh. Rudy's. Rudy's is very good. Where did we go for lunch know. for your birthday? It was good. It was okay. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll not mention it. Then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm Mexican it's food good all anywhere. Way. I like it so much that I'm happy pretty much any barbecue place we go. Uh -huh. And that's always for my birthday where I'll pick. For us to go for birthday lunch uh -huh. is barbecue, right? Every right. year it's right. barbecue Bill Miller. somewhere. Don't you like that? Yes, we've been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't think of the name. Dickies. 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 Yeah. yeah. Mine is Thai food. I like um, I like uh, all Thai food. I love it spicy. I like curry. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really good. Did you say? What did you Mexican say? Mexican. 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 Yes, Mexican food. Ooh, so versatile. It's <laughs> 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 Okay, so what is your favorite pattern or book that we carry? Starting with Alba. And I know we kind of already went some of them, but it's cool if we have reviews. I really, really like the um, the Spelling Bee book. Oh. I like it a lot. I have it at the house, and I've got some great plans for some spelling-related quilting things. I haven't started them yet because, you know, the stack of undone stuff is... The stack of done stuff is kind of <laughs> working on it though. I like Miss Rosie's patterns a lot, and I like a lot of uh, the miniature things, like the What Not Club Club we have, all those miniature quilts. Yeah, they're all 1800s reproductions. We have some Miss Rosie's, I think, the book and the pattern right there if you want to show it. Yes. Yeah. Is this it? Village. Yeah. yeah, we've got Village. Yeah. I, have, I have, think I have all of her patterns. Oh my god. And gosh. books, probably. Yeah. And she actually just came out with a oh, pin pals. Like that. That's yeah. cute. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. This is a good book too, the All in a Row. 
I think which is mine, so thank you. Oh, no. I was just, <laughs> don't, be, don't be stepping on anybody's toes. Man. Oh, this is really cute. I, I am making way. this right yeah. now. Susan did it to me. <laughs> well, I'm going to go a little bit back in time, and still one of my all-time favorite books is a, it's a Fat Quarter Shop, and it's so Emma book, Simply Fat Quarters. I think that probably was our very first publication, our first book. Also, Fat Quarter Style, those are all timeless in both wonderful mm -hmm. books. Brand new patterns, I love fig trees, trellis, and milk and blossoms. Mm. What's that new bunny one by Pat, um, Pattern Basket? Um, I don't recall, but it's a cutie. Yeah, it might just really be cute. bunnies. Maybe. I'm that one's sure, really cute. But it's cute. Yeah. Yeah. I do love this book. The um, both the all in a row and the all in a row too. There are so so many cute, cute things in these. Is that the I one think, you used for your uh -huh, um, quilting I did. rounds? Yeah, my quilting yeah. round. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it was two that I used for that. This one's one, and I did something in here. <laughs> it's all the stuff, but this one I, I really think this is fun because you got all the designers and it's really cute and perfect ten. Perfect ten. Perfect ten. This okay. is my quilt on the cover. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, show it. Inside yeah. secret, you guys. You yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is um, your favorite quilt from Perfect Time? Ooh, I know I did Rocky Road, but I think. I, I, they're all really cool. Yeah. I, I think I really like the mint, oops, sorry, mint chocolate chip. I made that mm -hmm. one. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you did. I think this one's kind of fun too. I like that one the, a lot. The uh, French vanilla, sorry, I'm hiding you. <laughs> and this one, I like cotton candy, but I like Ooh. cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing the sew along, so we're making all the different blocks, so it's fun. Yeah, oh. I'm doing it in Oxford. What are, you're doing it in? Spice it up. No. No. Uh, Flower. Flower garden. garden gatherings. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, my very favorite, very favorite, is Farm Girl Vintage. It came out the first year I was working here, and I was in love. And I remember we sold out of the Farm Girl Vintage Fat Quarter Bundle in three hours. It was <laughs> yeah. amazing. Yeah. And I especially love the animals. I love Mama Hen. I've made her <laughs> so many times. And the sheep, and then the, um, supplemental patterns um, like milk cow um, who else I've made all the animals the little piggy. So, and Xenia and Penny I've made Penny Pig a lot I love this book mm -hmm. and I love it because well actually Cheryl proofs proofed it and she's such a great proofer yeah that the patterns are super easy and clear and you always know if Cheryl has proofed it it's going to be a great pattern. <laughs> oh, Ooh, yeah. Thank you. you. <laughs> We're error free right now. All right. So, question from the audience. Uh, Tim Ray is asking, how much do you all get to sew? And if you want to answer, just. Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> yes. I feel like I always, I'm doing the. Um, so along. Vintage, the vintage, vintage, vintage Christmas yeah. so long, so I've got to do fly, five blocks a week, and then I'm finishing up ten. So not a lot of personal, personal sewing, but I always seem to be working on a sample constantly. Mm -hmm. I go home at night and sew anywhere from one to four hours. Wow. Because I love it. I don't like to sew at night. I get, I'm too tired. I, I don't like to cut at night. It revs me up. <laughs> I can be tired going home, and I go home and sew, and just whoo. Yeah, I usually sew on Thursdays and the weekends because I'm off on Thursdays. So I, um, and it's usually a sample for here on Thursdays and the weekends. I usually save for my own stuff. So I try to get in like an hour a day. Don't always succeed, but I like to try. And then on the weekends, I just sew till I'm tired of sewing. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, a lot of people have been asking, how long has everyone worked here? March for me will be seven years, so six and a half-ish. I've been here almost a year this time, but I was here before and, and I used to cut. I worked in the warehouse and I cut fabric and I was for a year and a half out there. So 
I started six years ago out in the warehouse and cut and buddies and checked and then came to customer service and I've been there the majority of six years. Wow. Eleven and a half years. <laughs> 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 Yay. I'll be five years in January, but I think I was a sample maker for five years before that. You think I think about five years before that, so I've been a sample maker for a long, long time. time. So yeah, about as long as yeah. Four and a half years for me. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Huh. Well, if you're four and a half, then I'm only going to be four. I'm yeah. only going to be four years. I didn't want to say anything, but it's okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> four years in January. I saw, I saw the side I had. <laughs> and then like, four years. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thank you so much. We have each other's back. <laughs> we, yeah, we really do. <laughs> and what is your favorite thing about working at Fat Warrior Shop? That we have each other's back. Mm. It's a great group of ladies to work with, and gentlemen too, because. There's got, you know, it's not just girls, y'all. It's guys, too. And, uh, <laughs> that's true. This, this, the, especially the customer service team is, everybody's supportive. Everybody's knowledgeable. It's, you know, if I don't know, I can ask any of them. If they don't know, they can ask any of us. It's really a supportive and pleasant and happy environment. And I really like it here. Yeah, I nice. like y'all a lot. <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite thing is talking with customers all over the world. It's mind-boggling. Um, and it's usually lots of fun. I mean, you know, we're talking with people. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, usually it's just a lot of fun, and it's not just about fabric. It's about their lives mm -hmm. and what's going on and things like that. So that's what I love. It's great talking to people, mostly. Um, <laughs> sometimes it's not as fun as others, but it's okay and you know we're happy to help with everything and we do have a great all of us together have a good what do you call that more energistic yeah. thing mm -hmm. going yeah. on together mm -hmm. and yeah right for here. being a bunch of, of girls mm -hmm. gals women whatever yeah. we do yeah. get a, we're not snipey and we're no. pretty diverse uh -huh. so yeah and we help each other all the time oh, yeah. and um, just support each other if we're having a bad day or you know we do make like fun that. of each other, so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and we throw balls at each other, and so, you know, just we wait, for fun we wait till nobody's least. paying attention. Shoot them ball. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things is getting to see all the new fabrics, yes. all the new notions yes. immediately. I was going to say kits. I'm a kit buyer, so mm -hmm. like mine a, is the kits. Like a kit yeah. in a candy store. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is fun seeing fabric mm -hmm. way before it comes out yeah. and getting to use it. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Um, and the same person was asking, what brands of machines do you guys use at home? Oh, I have an inexpensive little brother and it does just fine. I have a Baby Lock and a Juki. I and use a, some others. Oh, no, that's okay. I can't think of the other brand. I use a Bernina. Well, you use Kim. You have a sewing <laughs> machine. <laughs> I have uh, a Bernina, but I mostly sew on vintage machines. Rather weights, 221s or 301s or 401s. But I have a Bernina for doing applique and things like that. And? Oh, arm. I have a long arm. Yes. Oh, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just left that out. She <laughs> yeah. takes up my whole room. So. <laughs> oh, my God. I have a Viking, Husqvarna Viking, um, that does embroidery as well as sewing. And it was a big, 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 big splurge from myself, and I love it. Oh, treat yourself. Yeah. So, question for everyone. What sewing machine would you recommend Kim get? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to know your answer. <laughs> I, I love the Juki, the small Juki. That I think those are great. They're not expensive, and they do a bunch of stitches. Not like that Juki. That's just the straight stitch Juki, but... Uh, yeah, the the small, small one. I I think Jukies are great. Mm -hmm. I'd have to go with a a Bernina. <laughs> oh, I would too. I yes. would too. Or a, or a featherweight. A, you know, two twenty one. My first sewing machine was a cheapy cheapy one, like a, like a fifty or sixty dollar brother, and I sewed on it for at least a year or two before I really was like, okay, this is my thing, and I really like it, and now I want to buy something nicer. Um. So yeah, I mean that way. If I you can hate start it, on just yeah. about anything, and yeah, then for sure, up to to something. A singer, yeah, <laughs> but, but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Um And how were each of you introduced to quilting or sewing? <laughs> when I came to the Fat Quarter Shop, 
to be a customer service representative. I had sewn a lot in my life, and I knew zero about quilting. And Kimberly said, not a problem, but I would like you to learn how to quilt. And so, because I was working, I really didn't have time for classes. And in between watching YouTube videos and reading books and asking Cheryl lots of questions, I learned how to quilt. So you too can learn without <laughs> without a whole lot of effort. There's a lot out there now that uh, enables you to learn pretty quickly, and, and I love it. And let me intersperse. She does yeah. a lot of her yes. oh, cool. quilting, quilting on her machine, and she's gotten so very good at it. Fabulous. It is just really amazing. Yeah. And she really does sweet. it on her home machine. Well, it was scary. It was the scariest thing I've ever done because I like things very precise, and quilting is not very, you know, it's very intuitive, but I just found out what the cost of sending my quilt to a long arm was, and I thought, I'm going to learn how to do that myself. <laughs> so I just watched lots and lots and lots and lots of YouTube videos, and I do really love that. I started, um, I used to cross stitch, I don't really do much anymore, but uh, there was a shop in Austin that um, former customer service rep Debbie Taylor was a teacher, and she started quilting at that shop, didn't she do that? And so that's, we all went there one day and we started taking classes. My first ever quilt was a nine patch, uh, what was that? Um, hourglass. And I still have it, blue and yellow and white. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how I met Cheryl and that's how I met Kimberly and many, many, many moons ago. <laughs> well, my mom sewed all as, so as a child I was introduced to garment sewing and uh, a little bit later in life I did garment sewing. I do not garment sew anymore. I do not want to garment sew. Um, started quilting about maybe 14 years ago or so and because my aunt did hand piecing and the quilts that I have from her were hand quilted as well, I decided when she was unable to do that any longer I wanted to take a beginning quilting class and no I have not done any by hand I do it all by machine and I love the piecing I don't do the quilting I'm not yeah. like Susan Terry I love the piecing I like for someone else to do the quilting Me but I, I dearly love it and have enjoyed enjoyed it so much I started quilting uh, 30 one years ago my third son was six months old we moved to a town that didn't know anybody some ladies in the church said hey we quilt on Thursdays bring the baby I did they taught me how to hand quilt first and then um, I had never sewn wasn't interested in it didn't and that's that's where it started from there so I hand quilted all of my first probably five or six you, quilts you hand pieced them too right yeah oh, yeah. yeah we did all hand stuff and then then I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, my mother always sewed, like clothes and things for us, but I was the rebel child and I didn't want any of that. So I never learned how to do it. And then when I started working here, um, out in, you know, as a cutter or filling orders and stuff, everything is so pretty. Like the fabrics are so pretty and, and I'm a gadget girl and all the notions and stuff are so fun. And so I think I was here for two years before I, I finally was like, okay, I have to buy a machine. But I pretty much learned from watching um, YouTube videos. And my first quilt was two spa charm packs by Moda. And they're all these colors of blue. They reminded me of the blue and white glass like dishes. And I just sewed all the squares together. And it still hangs in my living room. And I'm very proud of it. It's not perfect. I don't care. I'm proud of it. I love it. I did it. It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Nobody's perfect. No. All right. Um, and then we had some questions submitted previously from some of our fans. Um, a question from April Jackson, who was one of our YouTube members. She says, uh, it would be fun to know what each person's favorite hobby is, um, quilting <laughs> or outside of quilting or both. Um, and what, yeah, so we'll start with that one. She had a few questions, but we'll start with hobby, maybe outside of quilting or so. And we can start with all Um, I really like to crochet. I like it a lot. Um, I can knit, but I get frustrated if I drop a stitch, I can't pick it back up. And so I'm like, okay, it's a little, uh, so I do a lot of crocheting, but I also, 
like to do just about any crafty type thing. I'm always making something or fixing something or doing something. I just like to paint, draw, crochet. So anything where I'm making something makes me happy. Um, other than quilting, I cross stitch, but probably reading a book or cooking, I don't really do any crafty stuff. I'm not a crafty person. So. <laughs> What's I don't like favorite? to make bags. I don't like to make purses. I don't, you know. She's afraid of zippers. Yeah, I don't like zippers. <laughs> yeah. um, what is your favorite meal to cook? Probably for my family, this is going to sound terrible. It's like fried chicken, mashed potatoes, fried okra. It's you know, the whole, it's amazing. That, yeah. that whole. Can I come over for dinner? Sure. <laughs> and, and, and you're bringing that on Monday yeah. for lunch, right? Yeah. I mean, that's. I raised four boys, and I mean that's what we ate. That is so lovely. That sounds really good. <laughs> um, I music is uh, kind of big for me these days. It's um, always I've always loved it, um, but recently I don't know why it's just kind of kicked in more than ever before. And I've been enjoying going to concerts with my daughter mm -hmm. that I have never been interested in doing before, but it's. It's just great fun. I get such a boot out of it and dancing. I love dancing so much. That's, that's my number one answer, actually. <laughs> dancing is my number one answer. And I then, can too. Yeah, I didn't know I that it. about you. Oh, God, I love it. I love it. It's so fun. It makes me feel so good and alive. It just moves great. me. It moves. It's moving. Where do you go to dance? Um, I haven't gone recently, but I've been to, oh gosh, I've been to Broken Spoke here a few times, and I've been to another place that was out in Dripping Springs. It's not there anymore, but... Um, country. Yes, country-ish kind of stuff. But any kind of dancing. I mean, I grew up as a dancer. I was, I did ballet and all that stuff and up until my college years, and so that's part of me. Um, but, um, yeah, it's been great fun to go with my daughter and just go see some old school bands that I grew up with. <coughs> So who's your favorite that you've seen? Moody Blues. Yeah. <laughs> moody Blues. I love, I'm a moody. I love Moody Blues. Yeah, that's great. And I'm going to see Elton John. All right. Say, oh next month. And then we're going to go see Fleetwood Mac in February. And, and I'm going to that one, right? Huh? Fleetwood You're going to that one? I'm going to that one. <laughs> My favorite hobby is County Cross Stitch. I have to do at least a little stitching every day it's my mm -hmm. therapy mm. it's my no matter how tired I am my day is not complete mm. I pick up my needlework up anytime meal time is over chores are done if I'm not sitting at the sewing machine then I sit down and pick up my needlework and I love baking as well what's your favorite thing to bake bread oh. all right I'll bring the fried chicken you bring the bread. Bread. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, other than quilting, embroidery, I love embroidery. I do cross stitch, but not much. I have tons of stuff, but I don't do much of that. And Tai Chi is my new hobby. I've been doing it about six months, and it's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm barely getting it. I've been doing it six months for two times a week. But you love it. I do love it a lot. I love it a lot. It's a lot of fun. I've always liked martial art kind of stuff. That's so cool. So um, I'm going to edit one of my answers to answer this question. <laughs> my favorite fruit is not really Mexican food, it's sugar. Oh, <laughs> and so, that's I mean, true. One year, Kim gave me um, an eight pound bag of sugar for my birthday, <laughs> and I loved it. So my f favorite hobby other than quilting is baking with my grandchildren. I have nine grandchildren, and that's what they want to do with me, they want to bake. And the go-to recipe we have is chocolate white chocolate chip cookies with loads of sprinkles on top. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's so so, so they bring the cookies. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And Alva told me, Alva told me I brought them one time, and she said, "Don't you ever no. put those cookies down next to no. me again." <laughs> <laughs> she sat them right there, and then I was like, <coughs> "Oh, there's a cookie." Yeah, I was like, "You can't do that again." <laughs> No self-control. <laughs> okay, and another question from April. Um, she said, what is a fun fact about yourself? And you can just choose to answer this school if you don't. <coughs> oh, fun fact. Fun fact. I got a fun one. Um, I got involved in chess 
because my children got involved in chess and we're all competitive chess players. And I'm one of <coughs> somewhere between eight and ten national female chess tournament directors. And that's been a really um, wonderful experience for me through the years while I was a stay-at-home mom. Wow. Come on, everybody. <laughs> <come. laughs> I know, fun facts are hard. I, I hard. have like maybe 20 pairs of Converse's. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That's, yeah. 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 that's, that's a really hours. fun fact. Yeah. That's yeah. Every All color. different colors? Okay. Oh yeah, some with the double tongue, some mm -hmm. high top, mostly low tops, some are the slip-ons, you name it. I'm not wearing them today though. I'm not wearing Converse today. <laughs> it's okay, we can't see your feet. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, fun fact, I started to say many of my friends are surprised to learn that I like horror movies. Mm -hmm. However, oh, yeah. I guess my number one fun fact is I'm an avid basketball fan, um, oh, San Antonio right. Spurs, Ooh, yeah. And, yeah. and Boston Celtics are my Eastern Conference team. So yeah. I love basketball. Which it so. is surprising you're not wearing Spurs today. Yeah. I, I started to. <laughs> I have black, silver and black. So. That counts. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead, because I I I don't know that I have a fun fact. I have I had four brothers. Mm -hmm. I raised four boys. I'm That's about funny. the only girl in my in my realm. So I don't know, grandson or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, raising a grandson. So. I don't know if y'all will think it's fun, but my name is Elva. My mother's name was Elva. My grandmother's name was Elva. So uh, that's a family name, and people comment on my name a lot because it's not a common name. And then I'm like, well, my oh. mom and my grandma, these ladies probably hate hearing it. I must say it. We do hear ten it. Times we hear her say it. Tell her about your list. A lot. So this is what we, we hear. Us. I have we hear over the phone. Alpha, E L V A. No, oh. elephant. <laughs> I have a list of names that people have called me that are not Elva. Um, top of the list is Hilda. <laughs> Ethel. <laughs> Ethel made me laugh so hard. It's a long, it's like, a there's long like 15 list. names on there, and they just cracks me up. <laughs> I think your fun fact is you uh, love to sing. I, oh, am, yeah. I do love to sing. I sing karaoke all the time. Um, I sing around my apartment. I feel sorry for my neighbors. <laughs> um, I used to sing. I've sang in some weddings, and sorry, I can't help myself. I sang in some weddings, and I used to sing for something called. Um, the Angel Tree Foundation. So every year they did a thing for, like a benefit for families and um, victims of violent crime. So I would go every year and sing at the banquet or whatever. Um, but I don't really sing anywhere but karaoke now. But yeah, it's good. Oh my I know, I'm just really <laughs> trying. I think you kind of said it with your dancing. With your dancing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is a fun fact. She yeah. sent me a picture of her in like the ballet and as she's beautiful oh, just beautiful oh i know a fun fact about yeah. you we could talk about your axe throwing oh that's right because <laughs> yes. yes. you would like to do that again I kim wants all of us to, to do it <laughs> i went with my daughter for her birthday and i never knew you could do this but apparently there are places to go here where you can throw axes at wood walls, <laughs> and I thought, oh, did you know about that? Same I it's an awesome. Yeah, it it's is the <laughs> most fun thing. You don't even think it is, but it is great fun. Oh, I, I had the best it. time going, and I've been asking everybody. I dropped it now. You didn't ask me. I put I'm it out, out there. I know. It would be a great group thing to do. I'm not I'm kidding you because you you Talk wouldn't think it would be so fun. Stress. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's I don't really know. a lot if of fun. They even have leagues. Axe throwing leagues. Yeah. <laughs> I, That's awesome. Tell, tell them the, can you say the name of that group? The I mean that one. Well, can I? I don't know. Mm -hmm. can, can you I? say the name of the word place you oh, were yeah. at? Oh, oh, I don't remember oh, the name of the oh, place. No. But I mean, the name of the... I, can I really Lily, say it? I don't know. Lily can edit it out. <laughs> is it like, no, it's I think got, it's, it's, it's kind of a one. half nasty name. <laughs> but if you know <laughs> Axe, then you can kind of go there. Oh, there you go. How great with uh, we're getting That's lots fun. of thank yous on the feed, like people saying they love you guys. We love y'all too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Irene was asking, is everyone here from Texas? No. Nope. Yes. Born and raised. Yes. Right. Raise your hand if you're from Texas. Yeah. Okay. So Kim, where are you from? I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, actually, oh. originally, but I've been all over the place. Mm -hmm. My dad was in the military, so I'm not from any place. I was born in Oklahoma, <laughs> but I've never lived there. And 
The furthest I've lived was France when I was about six years to eight years, something like that. Five to eight, something somewhere in there. I used to run up and down the Eiffel Tower before they even had an elevator. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't remember an elevator. They may have had one. I was, I was eight. Yeah, Who knows? I was running up and down. Oh, yeah, of course. My dad was in the Air Force also. I was born in upstate New York and lived in Maine, Florida, Minneapolis, and then when he retired, we moved to Texas. Oh my God. We retired in Texas too. Um, let's see. As somebody was asking, what is the quote behind you? If you guys just want to remind them. Clementine. Clementine. It was our fundraiser from last year. We have kits available and donations to St. Jude's. Yeah. Yes, we're still taking donations. Mm -hmm. um, the link is in the description. And Do we know how much we've already raised on that one? What's I think it? we're at 13000 Our goal was 40000 We've so y'all, y'all need to be buying some kits, y'all. We can do it. St. Jude's is a wonderful, and a hundred percent of your donation goes straight to St. Jude's. Yes. We don't have any of that. It goes no. straight to them. Yeah. All right. Um, Lisa says, "Love you, ladies. Your reputation is the best in the business." Oh. Um, we try. <laughs> Thank you. Noemi <laughs> says. Hello, girls. I miss Texas, Whataburger, and H-E-B. Oh, yes. <laughs> Whataburger. Yeah. Whataburger. That's the best. I'll go to lunch there today in your honor. Oh. <laughs> Bluebell ice cream. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my gosh, yes. Um, Diane was asking, have you ladies ever tried candle wicking? Candle, candle wicking. I did a little bit of candle wicking years ago. Is that when you carve it? It's an embroidery knots. with knots. It's oh. not. It's not. It's embroidery. It's, it's looks oh. similar to French knots. Right. Oh. Larger and, it's, and then you do it's the, a different, right. but yeah. you fill in the like a lamb or right. a, oh, a, okay. I haven't done that in a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. It's more of an embroidery thing then, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's fine. All right. Uh, Jamie had uh, previously on our YouTube asked, uh, be honest, how large are your guys' fabric stashes? Oh. oh. <laughs> Not as big as they could be. Like, I don't even take some stuff home because it just stays under my desk because I just don't have yeah, more room at home. this tall on my desk. <laughs> I put risers, I put my bed on risers so that I could put totes of fabric <laughs> under the bed. Yes. Yeah, I have a lot. Not yeah. as much as some people, but way more than I need. <laughs> I think it's I probably have the biggest. I, I have a two-car garage that's been converted to my sewing area. And I think at the last time that I counted, I had about 200 kits. Oh my Undone so, kits. Yeah. Oh well, no. some done. Some some partially done. <laughs> They're kind of in the progress. So. Um, I don't have a big fabric stash. I do have a fat quarter wall. That is, my husband cut the sheetrock out and put shelves, and I have one whole wall that's fat quarters. But I'm a scrappy quilter, so I don't have a lot of stash fabric, but I do have a lot of block of the months. I love block of the months and kits. Favorite thing. You know, I think it, having your sewing room, how big your stash is, it's just like a fish. If the fish has a bigger yes. aquarium, yeah. the yeah. Yeah, be bigger. Yeah. It started out as one half of the garage, now it's the whole garage. So <laughs> and air I, conditioned I, and all that. I have talked to so many people on the phone that they say the same thing. <laughs> and I always say, you're in great company, because they feel a little guilty sometimes right. about it, but yeah. um, they know if they don't do it now, it's, they're gonna lose something that they really mm -hmm. enjoy looking at mm -hmm. and enjoy working and, with, so. And it's, people, I speak to people all the time who are stash building towards their retirement, so they get a bunch true. of stuff now, yes. because once you retire, you know your income changes and everything gets mm -hmm. a little stricter, mm -hmm. so they just stash build now and prep for then, which I think <laughs> is a genius idea, mm -hmm. and I'm saying that's what I'm doing. I'm not doing that, but I'm doing that. <laughs> we have a great magnet, and I can't remember what it said, and I was looking on the website the other day, and I'm like, I could give this to every person I talk to. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the fabric acquisition expert, yes. <laughs> yes. and the fabric is just coming out, you know, you can really see the person, but that's yes. perfect. We actually have that magnet, it's uh, yeah. coming soon. Coming soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cute. My stash is, is too large. I have one dresser that's packed, one chest of drawers that's packed, an antique dresser that's packed, two beds with under the bed storage <laughs> that are full and two closets that you can open the door and walk in about this far and it's it's time to try to de-stash a little for me. 
Oh, your bed's going to raise up by... Yeah. <laughs> so we're having sure. bunk I, ha- I have one of those Ikea... Um, I think it's... It's not... I think it's bigger than those, so it must be five by four. Oh, and yeah, they've got all the big square cubby yeah. things in it. Wow. Those are... Every one of those is crammed full. And then under my cutting table, I have a, a one of those bar tables, you know, big square table. Mm-hmm. And that's my cutting table. And under that, I've got two big things. And then... You know, here I've got fabric. Do you have here. two boxes under your desk? I do have <laughs> boxes, two boxes. <laughs> I one is just, I think it's two. But one is day sale. It's just day sale fabric from Bonnie and Camille, and then the other is just crammed full of too much fabric. Too much. It's overwhelming sometimes. I have lots of uh, under bed plastic storage buckets um, full of fabric, and then in my sewing room, I realized I could raise this um, folding table up to the highest height and stack some more (laughs) under the bed plastic cartons. My biggest fear is dying anytime soon and people seeing how much I have. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm trying to sew faster than I acquire. It's a good trick. I, I'm just going to let my kids deal with it. So. <laughs> all, all your sons, right? Yeah, yeah all my sons. sons. They're just they're gonna just going to figure out what to do. The garage sale yeah. table for ten cents. That's a, exactly a right. Yard. Y'all, bet, y'all stick around. You're going to get a great deal. <laughs> my sister, my sister quilts too. So every time she comes down to visit, I pull all my stash out and I'm like, go through it, and take what you want. That's great. And so and I take a little more. I de- <laughs> I de- stash that way a lot. And I'm That's like, good. Come, come I, I don't share. feel guilty and I don't like to de- stash. I like my stuff so. Ooh. That's right. Yeah, Own it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just overwhelming sometimes. It's a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. I just like pulling it but all it's out so pretty. and looking at it's it. So and it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's very beautiful. It's very pretty. Uh, uh, from YouTube, Diane says, tell her not to worry. LOL. I have two whole bedrooms stacked with fabric. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. She's got a I have a there. friend that buys by the bolt. She doesn't buy a yard. She buys a bolt. Wow. And she has an entire room that's like a store that's... Wow. So if you ever need anything, you just go yeah. to her house and <laughs> was, yeah. go oh shopping. Gosh. Yeah. Um, and let's see, we've got time for about one or two more questions here. Um, so I'm going to take one from Karen from Facebook. She says, how do you display your quilts? Mine are displayed all over my house. I have two in my living room, probably two in every bedroom, over the couch, over chairs. I use them as table toppers. They're they're just everywhere, and then I have shelves with them stacked also on there. Yeah, and I'm a quilt washer. I'm one of those people like if I'm going to put hours of my work and time into doing something, I want it to be used. So when I gift it to somebody, which I usually do, gift my stuff away, I'm like I want to see it get raggedy and washed and dried, and I want your kid dragging it across the floor. Mm -hmm. Um, And I have them on my like I have them you know on the couch and on the bed and everywhere, and I use them all the time. I don't have any that are like except for my first one that I hang up and display, really, because I like to bury myself under them and watch TV. I have your quilt on my on my bed. She gave me, for my birthday, a quilt that she made. It's so bright and colorful and a happy making, and um, I, I have it on my bed. It's, Yay! Love, love it. it. Love Thank it. you. Yeah. I have my great-grandfather's trunk. And so, of course, I, my seasonal, I, I have a loft area, and as the seasons change, I hang quilts on my staircase there where you look up to the loft. And so have a big pumpkin quilt there now. But my great-grandfather's trunk actually keeps my seasonal, my holiday quilts. And I have a big stack of quilts just folded on the end of that trunk. Several antique pieces I have quilts stored in and on top of. And dining room on every surface. <laughs> yeah. Someone comes in my house, my children come in and sit down and if they feel a little bit cool, they only have to reach about this <laughs> far yeah. and they can reach a quilt. Oh, so yeah. they're everywhere. That's that's me too. They're everywhere. I think I have a couple that hang up. Um, in seasonal, you know, whatever it is, I have those hung. But mostly they're on the back of every sofa chair. And then in the guest room on the, it's just like a double bed, all the extra quilts. I don't like to fold them and roll them up because mm-hmm. they get those creases. So I just have them stacked, stacked, stacked. Yeah, they're layered. So it's about that big of a layer of 
flat quilts on that, and then everywhere, and in trunks, and in <laughs> other people's homes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like to make, um, well, because I just have a small machine, and I hope to get a bigger one, one with a wider um, arm in there one day. But I like to make smaller projects because I can actually finish them. So I have a lot of pillows and um, some bed runners and some table runners mm -hmm. and some quilts that I stack. And But I have sewn a lot of um, quilts for my grandchildren. My first quilt, I, I think the first quilt I ever finished was for my granddaughter who was turning one. And she's four now and she finally stopped putting it on her bed because she's so, she's so big now and the quilt's not so big. <laughs> she's got some cute stuff on them around her um, desk area. Stone. The fish, what was the fish mm -hmm. one from the Sosampler? The sampler. fish one from the that. So Sampler, mm -hmm. August like 27. Chuckles. 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 Yeah. Chuckles. 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 Very cute. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was about to say, you guys have them hanging. Like, yes. That's oh, yeah. all, all over the area. Yeah. 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 That's, that's right. right. They're yeah. hanging everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. walking by there because I'm always like, what do they have hanging up right now? Let's see. So yeah, if you guys, if anyone like works in an office, like you can hang your folks there. Yeah, they are all over our space, yes. All right. So last question, let me find a really good one here. Um, <coughs> Teresa's asking, what is something that you would want us to know as a customer about customer service? I am gonna say this, um, I hope it's okay. Um, <laughs> sometimes when people call in, I feel like they, they start off really aggressively because I feel like in today's society, when you have an issue and you call a company, you get shuffed off, shluffed off a lot, like they don't want to help you really. Here, customer service really does mean customer service. We're here to help you. We want to help you figure out what's going wrong with trying to place your order if you can't, you know, if you're having difficulty with the pattern. Um, you don't, you know, call us and just trust that we're going to do our best to help you. You don't have to fight for us to help you. We want to help you. We want to make a mistake right. So, you know, we're here to really be supportive customer service. And I think that's a big deal that that's people, mm -hmm. they don't always understand because they get so used to not being helped when they need help. And it's not like that here. Here it's, it's really, mm -hmm. it's a big deal. It's what we do yes. and we like doing it and we want to help and it's, it's our thing. <laughs> Sometimes we have to be detectives. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to investigate shipping issues or find lost mm -hmm. gift certificate codes or lots of different things. Some things are quick and easy, some are time consuming. Mm -hmm. And so uh, one thing I would like for customers to know is when you call and we're unable to answer, please leave a message because we do pick up the messages and we return those calls. You know, we have in times past had customers say, I called six times and, and I never got anyone. And we said, well, did you leave a message because we want to make sure we get everyone? Well, no, I didn't leave a message. But And so sometimes we have six or seven phone lines or more ringing at the same time. Mm -hmm. We can't always answer, mm -hmm. but if you leave a message, we will, will. get an answer mm -hmm. to you as yeah. quickly as possible. And we want so. you to know that we, we'll take as much time with you as we need to. So. Right. If you're that person calling in, just realize we're probably more, more than likely talking to someone else and you know we do return the phone calls as fast as we can. And that's our very number one priority and we are here to help and we don't mind how long it takes. We just no, absolutely not. Um, yeah, sometimes not it's really complicated. Yeah, yeah, it yeah complicated we don't have sometimes. a time limit. We can talk as long as we want. We you know, it's just uh, we are here for that purpose. Yeah. That is our job. So mm -hmm. And if you do leave a message, remember your name. Right. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> name, and phone name and phone number. That's pretty. Yeah. 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 I would say um, I've had lots of people call and say this is a really stupid question, and I always say there is no stupid no. question. So remember, there are no stupid questions, and also we do more than you think or may realize that we do. I love to do color matching. So if you want to know what solid color goes well <laughs> with a certain fabric, Susan's your girl. Susan's ask your girl. me. I love it. I love shopping for you. So call anytime, and I will be your eyes. Oh no. Yeah, and we, you know, as an on as an online only retailer, some things that we do that people don't really realize that we do is we we will assist you with color matching because we understand that it doesn't always look right on the computer um, versus in person. So if you're like, I have this pink 
and I need a paint to go with it, if we've got the fabric in hand, we can go out and find you really good choices. Or if you have something we don't have, you can send us a swatch and we can color match to your swatch. Um, that's a service that we provide and I think it's super beneficial because it is really hard on the computer. Mo the colors don't always look right. Mm -hmm. And the color suggester doesn't always mm -hmm. suggest great. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Well, I the mean, colors are just different from screen to screen. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my screen is different from your screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll all color match for you anytime that, mm -hmm. you know. But Susan loves it. I, <laughs> I love it. Another thing that we might mention is to occasionally people will have difficulty using their mobile device. Yeah. <clears throat> Difficulty That's checking true. out or That's something yes. or finding where to enter their gift certificate code. And so I would urge customers to call us right away. You know, if you start to have difficulty, just pick up the phone and call us. And mm -hmm. don't get frustrated because sometimes there are little glitches or something and we don't want you to get frustrated. So just right. pick up the phone and call us and yeah. Sometimes let us the internet just don't work. And yeah. if we're if it's not during business hours and you you have to place an order or you're under a time crunch or whatever, there's a comment section when you place an order where you can put a comment and we read those and we pay attention to them. So if you're like, I couldn't get my code to work, uh, and you know, give us the code, then we can we can work with that. Or if you have issues or questions, you can put that in the comments and we'll address them. So mm -hmm. we do read them. Beautiful. All right. And I've just got a few comments here that I want to read out to you guys. Um, Kathy said, customer service is so good. Sometimes I just want to call it a chat. <laughs> um, and Linda said, I love you ladies. You're the best. And she put a bunch of those like little kissy emojis. Um, <laughs> um, and then Chris said, you guys are amazing. I got the wrong thread twice and I felt bad oh. because you are so good. Please tell them I love them. Oh, <laughs> we love you too. Thank you. Um, Sorry we messed up. <laughs> Barbara says, even help on email is great. They are always helpful to me and two heart emojis. Um, Leslie says, you guys are amazing. Um, I have called, emailed, and each and every time you have helped me tremendously. Uh, customer service has been more than helpful to me, says Julie from Australia. Um, Tyann said, I have actually talked with Kimberly about a problem. So I think they might have talked uh, to you. Kim. 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 Everybody thinks this is Kimberly. <laughs> Is that, do you get that a lot? I yes. do, and they'll probably, like you hear Elva say, Elva, you know, we hear mm -hmm. her say that a lot. Mm -hmm. You probably hear me say, I'm, I'm, I'm not that Kim. Kim. I'm not that Kim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not that Kim. I'm not that Kim. I'm Kim, Kim. not Kimberly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Kimberly doesn't answer the phone. Kim. <laughs> oh, yeah. But we call you Kim. She's Kimberly. Yeah. She's yes. Kimberly. Kimberly's yes. not Kim. Um, and one last uh, request. Linda says, can you guys go around and say your names again? Elva. Okay. Terry. Kim. Cheryl, Deborah, Susan. Beautiful. Can we do a shout out to Cynthia? She's our little yes. customer. Oh, yes. oh, yeah, Cynthia. Cynthia. She's, she's very, very pregnant. Probably having her baby next week. Next week. Yeah. 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 So we're very excited. She's sick today, so she was going to be here. We were excited to have her too, but she's yeah. not feeling well today. And we have another one, Angel. She's not here today. Angel and Kat. 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 Mm -hmm. And then we now have a Skyler. male in our. And he is wonderful. He, is he does so our, awesome. our searching for us. His name's <laughs> yes. Skylar. Great, mm -hmm. great, he's a great, great help guy. to us. Yeah, yeah. great help. He's our big guy. helper. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's a huge because he's been out for the last two days. Two days, <laughs> and we really miss him. Yeah. Yeah. I miss you, <laughs> Skylar. <laughs> Thank you ladies so much for doing this. Like you guys, it takes bravery to get up on camera. So you guys are amazing <laughs> for doing that. I just want to wave bye to everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Call us. We'll Call be us. on the phones and just <laughs> <laughs> email.